an article about the Sixers came out uh, written by Jabari Young uh, for Yahoo. And the headline it came out for CNBC headline, Philadelphia 76ers need Doc Rivers to fix its culture and win as team eyes future business and new arena. I love this. Oh, yeah? Be- yeah. Because this was a planted story from Scott O'Neill. Now, there are two different ways you could see this. You could see this as Scott O'Neill trying to brag to... Now, I am sure CNBC is what rich guys watch all the time. That's what they do. It's all just fucking money, 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 money. That's what it is. Hey, look at this stock. Look at... Hey, what do you think of this, that? So I'm sure Josh Harris and David Blitzer read CNBC. So it's either a love note to Blitz and Harris saying, hey, by the way... This is on Doc now. Everything is on Doc now. Isn't CNBC the, they always have like the tweets that it's like, this, you know, $300,000 a year person doesn't understand why there's poor people or something like, isn't there's like a, here's my budget. And it's all, and it's always like, oh, is that from simply, CNBC? Simply getting, know. you know, a, a cool 500K from my family. <laughs> <laughs> I like don't that's know. All, that's all you need. That's the secret to success it's, is uh, taking a, a job that you love, not caring about money that much and inheriting a, a cool <laughs> 500K from your grandparents. The It's the station that um, that Jim Cramer's on. It's just it is really just like stocks and business all the time, 100 percent of the time. So here's what's interesting. So it's either a love note to Blitz and Harris, or it is a resume builder at look at all I've done. And Mm -hmm. here's something interesting to notice. The same writer in 2019 wrote an article about the Sixers. I'll I'll read the quote from you. Um, (laughs) It's amazing. This is the current quote or this is the past This is from 2019. Okay. Chris Heck said team officials solicited input from fans at town hall meetings. For games that weren't sold out, the Sixers would allow some fans to move to better seats. The team also partnered with companies like Dunkin' Donuts, owned by Dunkin' Brands, to advertise its logo. Here's the best part. Everywhere you turned, it was Philadelphia 76ers. So what happened is we gained the confidence of the fan that has always been the Philadelphia sports fans. We also started a new wave Also a cult following Mm. of fans under the age of 35. They started the cult following. That's right. Yes. Okay. So um, the the, the, really the the key to this article is that it puts everything about them making any more money in the future on Doc Rivers. As the team departed the NBA's bubble postseason in the first round in August, the Sixers fired Brett Brown. Sixers leadership, which includes HBSE CEO Scott O'Neill and general manager Elton Brand, were mystified at the team's 31 and 4 home record, but poor performance at the road. It's the not road. 31 and 4, by the way. That's actually incorrect because two of those losses at home were in Orlando. Oh, it so they're 31 two. and 2. It was two games. It was like well, 29 and 2, I think it was. You're right. I love. That the Sixers leadership that were mystified were Elton Brand and, of course, Scott Mm O'Neill. They were the two guys that were on the same page here. One NBA team staffer with knowledge of the Sixers affairs said the club lacked focus on the road and the team's traveling party was too big. The staffer called the Sixers, quote, unorganized, adding that the club had too many front office staff with titles but undefined roles. Who could have ever imagined that would have been the case? Yeah, shocking when you've... Just keep putting someone in like a side office. There's there's just so many offices they're building. They have a new practice facility just for offices to people that are getting parachutes out. If Doug and Collins he, and Tony DeLeo are still kicking around over there. Uh, so the a header future business. If Rivers and Brand can help deliver Harris a championship, O'Neill's job could get a bit easier as winning equals more business in the NBA. It's the ultimate magnet of money. The Sixers bring in roughly $300 million in revenue with $90 million from operating in- income, according to Forbes. The team is set with their broadcasting rights with Comcast property, NBC Sports Phil- Philadelphia, into 2029. Uh, O'Neill is credited with helping turn 3,500 season ticket holders into roughly 14,000, ranked first in the NBA in tickets sold in attendance last season. He also landed, this is for you, the NBA's first jersey patch deal and landed Harris an $86 million new practice complex in Camden, New Jersey. Real quick, O'Neal is the one that turned it from 3,500 season ticket holders into 14,000. Did Mike, I ask you, did it have anything to do with the team led by two young superstars getting better? 
I can't imagine why it would. When I show, when I pay for a game, I show up for the CEO. <laughs> I'm there for the I'm there for the player intros when there's when they're setting shit on fire. That's yeah. why I come. I'm not. I honestly, the basketball couldn't even be bothered by it. I yeah. respect good business, mm-hmm. and I sh- I pay good money to sit in a an arena, to just like admire the business. At I the end say. of this, we're business people. I mean, this right. is why we're in it. Just tell it's us just more amazing about- the idea that like people taking credit for so many things all the time. It is like stunning. It is stunning for uh, people taking credit for things that they don't deserve. It's it really like rattles me to a, a, an emotional, like to my full insides. The idea that like they can, with a straight face, take credit for that shit. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. I, like they're, they're unapologetic about the credit that they take for anything good that happened that literally had nothing to do with them. Here's what I will give them credit for. The snake logo was cool. The snake logo was cool. Now, the union did it fucking two years ago, but the snake logo was cool. Of anything they've done, that is the only thing I'll give them credit for. Snake logo. I'm not giving that to Scott, though. <laughs> Scott's not in the fucking, in the fucking art, art lab, like, mm-hmm. draw, drawing out specs. He's just fucking sitting there and, like, shaking hands and telling everyone how good he is and leaking the reporters. I just, I don't give, I don't give that person respect. I don't. I don't. The, and the idea that they just say that everything that happens is them. It's remarkable. Like you would like honestly, just start putting Scott O'Neill on the box score. And like when Embiid <laughs> scores a point, like give some of those points to Scott. Because like he deserves it. Well, um do you think what are the odds that he knows the exact stats from every one of the media games that he hosted so he can be? hundred <laughs> percent. <100%. good at? laughs> yeah. 